Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we finally return to talking about Candace Owens. It's been a long time coming and frankly, I backed off of talking about her for a while now. But now, with her recent appearance at the US Congress hearing and that blowing up in the news, well, I think this topic is pretty much unavoidable. You see, Miss Owens wasn't always known as this up and coming conservative commentator, like what she's become today. She was very different a few years ago, actually. Candace first came to our attention here on YouTube, making videos under the moniker Red Pill Black cringy name, I know. Any term with red pill in it seems dated in 2019, but that was her title. And back then, she was just starting out, and she actually made some pretty interesting videos on YouTube, too. But admittedly, it didn't seem like she was trying a little too hard to go with that angle of, I'm black and conservative, look at me. But it still worked out for her, clearly. But what really worried people back then was her social justice warrior influenced website called Social Autopsy, where she essentially tried to take records and track down mean people on the internet. It was like an anti-bullying crusade. Yeah, sounds crazy, but she kind of made like a real-life troll trace. Like that joke idea from that South Park season a couple years ago. Even going so far as to start doxing people and shit too. Not very cool. That was ages ago though, now. Well, it was mid-2017, which is kind of ancient in modern political discourse, I guess. Regardless, I'm not here to dwell on Candace Owens' past at all. If you want to catch up on that full story though, I did put a link to my original video below. But for now, we're going to quickly move on to the present. The only reason I mention this dark past of hers is because I actually want to commend Candace now for changing her ways completely. It's really been great seeing her long and powerful redemption arc since those old red pill black days. She's been going on the news, speaking for conservatives, doing all kinds of pro right wing stuff, and it's been awesome. So yeah, I want to commend her for changing, and it's kind of nice to do this because I really don't get to see people change like this often, since most people don't really change ever, but I think enough time has passed and Candace has done enough badass speaking for conservatives to safely say, Candace Owens is our girl now. She's been saying and doing all the right things politically for years. She's teamed up with pro-conservative groups like Turning Point USA and even Candace has met President Trump himself. So yeah, it's pretty clear she's come correct recently, especially after what's happened this week. That brings us to this recent government hearing everyone is talking about. Candace Owens appeared there as a representative for the conservatives, as you might have heard. And also, as you might have heard, she was absolutely killing it there. Candy Girl certainly served the Democrats and she did it live on TV, which was really fun to watch. With all that said, let's go ahead and check out a few clips and you can see what we're talking about. These clips begin with a congressman named Mr. Lou, who is trying to slam Candace Owens with this fake out of context quote. Take a look. Uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owens said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? First of all, no one is trying to legitimize Hitler. That's absurd. Even the quote you just said and showed about her wasn't doing that. Candace clearly said if Hitler was just trying to make Germany better, that would be fine, but he wasn't doing that, so it wasn't fine. And this Congress guy, Mr. Liu, he's a real piece of work, man. Not only does he look ridiculous with his smug looks and holier-than-thou attitude, he also just tried to play a quote from Candace and take it out of context completely, as Owens herself will soon tell you. But even him trying to take it out of context to slam her doesn't really work. She clearly said if Hitler was trying to just make Germany great, that could have been fine, but he wasn't doing that at all, so it wasn't fine. I guess Lou here thinks that getting someone to mention Hitler at all is some kind of got ya or something. Well, I have to say, guess what, dude? You just mentioned Hitler too. Are you some sort of Nazi sympathizer now, Lou? I don't think so, but according to your own failed logic and your low IQ, dumbass liberal thinking, you actually might be. Yes, um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Lou believes that black people are stupid and will not... F uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness, clip. The witness absent. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the okay, now this other old fart with the gavel is trying to defend that SJW Mr. Lou guy. He's kind of like Mr. Miyagi, but he's dumb and doesn't know anything. The problem here is this, though. Candace never spoke disparagingly of Lou like what he claimed here. She was merely responding to him and making him look bad because he is looking bad. So I guess this other lefty felt like he had to bail him out with that gavel. Lou was implying that blacks and other people are stupid here. If you take that quote the way he did, assuming there's no context, well, it shows that he thinks he can manipulate people 
people that easily. Really, it's Lou who is the stupid one here, though. He's the one trying to pretend Candace Owens is some kind of Hitler sympathizer, when she's clearly not. And calling your opponents Nazis is pretty much the most played out, weakest, and dumbest SJW tactic ever. It's the worst thing you could do in current year, Lou. And it's become so bad that it really is comical. If you guys ever hear Nazi accusations out there, I hope you laugh and throw it back in the liberals' faces as much as I do. Because we're talking about a serious, evil organization, sure. But the Nazis were also stopped and defeated by 1945. It's been over 70 years, guys. Get over it. But as we know, SJWs like to time travel, just like they do with Nazi stuff and also with slavery. Except slavery goes back twice as many years. Witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, Witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. May I continue? Wait, please. Did you see that gavel guy Nadler's look there? He doesn't even care what she really said. Just like how Mr. Liu doesn't care what Candace really said. All the corrupt Democrats care about is trying to slander and vilify their opponents. Whatever it takes. And not like a cool whatever it takes like from the Avengers Endgame trailer. No, that's heartfelt and serious. This kind of whatever it takes is shady and underhanded. Also, do you guys remember the video from yesterday? There we saw an SJW that was doing the same kind of thing with the OK hand symbol. That's not a racist thing, but they say it is racist now in order to slam their opponents. This means that liberals will do anything, literally anything they could do to try and make conservatives look bad, including lying, ignoring, misconstruing, and misrepresenting. And ironically enough, these low-brow, low-IQ tactics are actually doing the opposite of what the left-wingers intend. Instead of making conservatives look bad by lying about us, the Democrats are making themselves look bad because everyone knows they're lying. The irony here is freaking priceless. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two-hour clip and he purposefully extracted, he cut off and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany when in fact the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether I, or not I believed in nationalism. Just take a look at poor old Mr. Liu here. What a sad sack of shit this old man is. He's constantly fidgeting and acting strange in this whole hearing too. I really don't know what the voters ever saw in this guy. Well, now that I think about it, I actually do. They saw a minority who pushed SJW bullshit. That and being in Los Angeles, California is all it really took for Lou to be elected. And I would also put him in with the likes of AOC and Ilhan Omar. We may not have heard of Lou as much, but he's the same kind of monster as them. A political figure born completely out of identity politics of the left. They don't vote based on the person, their character, or their stances or abilities to represent them. God no. Liberals vote for people based on their race and gender. Oh, and it's also worth noting that Lou wasn't born in America, just like how Ilhan Omar wasn't born here either. Now, that doesn't mean they aren't Americans or anything, but it certainly makes me question them, especially when they're acting at odds with America's interests. Like this. Lou is basically saying that being a nationalist is bad. Make no mistake, guys. He may be doing it in a roundabout, Nazi-related way, but that is his goal. Liberals want to vilify nationalism, because they don't want people to love our country or the United States. And they don't want the United States and its people to be strong and unified, because that might turn us against foreign countries or the liberals themselves, who are all out to cheat us or get something from us in a shape way. And also, nationalism can naturally lead to less and more strict immigration. And we all know this new class of Democrats doesn't want that. They want more immigration, unlimited immigration. Basically, they're immigrants themselves and they want more black or brown people here too, as many as they can get so they can try and outnumber us. Because at the end of the day, people like this hate white people and want to relegate us to a voiceless minority here as soon as they can. And that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut-up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. Well put, Miss Owens. We all know Hitler was a psychopath, and the only reason they try and pin nationalism onto the Nazi party is so they can make this weak comparison to nationalists today in present-day America. But they might as well say conservatives are Mongolians, though. Or you could say they are equivalent to evil, blood-sucking vampires. These comparisons are just as apt and related to modern Republicans, so go ahead. Say we're like the Borg from Star Trek or some kind of stormtroopers that serve on the Death Star. Keep it up. Say whatever you like. It's not going to work, though. As I said before, all these bogus insults are doing is making the Democrats themselves look worse. Because everyone knows this stuff is not true. Liberals sound ridiculous and it's making them look unhinged and immature. And this is why they can't win elections anymore. That was unbelievably dishonest and he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and should tell you a lot about where 
where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew, and a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem. I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. And boom, there goes the dynamite. How can anyone think this woman or other similar conservatives are anti-Jewish after this? Prager U is a Jewish-run YouTube channel, and so is Ben Shapiro's channel. And there's also the Rubin Report, which is very sympathetic towards cons. So yeah, these are all conservative or sympathetic shows and reporters that Candace has associated with, and they're also Jewish. And also, as Candace said herself, she went to the Jewish embassy opening in Jerusalem, in Israel, in the Jewish homeland, while at the same time, no Democrats were there. So yeah, if anyone is hating on the Jews these days, it's establishment Democrats, like the shitty ones on this committee in the video. Democrats are the ones who side with the anti-Semitic Muslims time and time again, too. Ilhan Omar is one of their new Muslim representatives, and she's from Africa, and she goes after the Jews all the time, too. Not only attacking them, but also supporting her terrorist-loving Muslim brothers. Shit, Omar even got caught this week saying 9-11 was just some thing some people did, totally minimizing this tragic attack that killed thousands of Americans. Yeah, that's what many would call trivializing something very terrible that happened to our citizens, but because Ilhan Omar is a Democrat who carries water for the social justice warriors, she gets a big free pass on everything. Really makes you think here, doesn't it? Now, before we go, let's look at one more video. Candace's appearance in Congress not only won over many more conservatives and actually made me think, yeah, you know what? She is officially cool now, but also, she triggered a lot of the older black establishment Democrats. So, although Owens may have exploited her I'm a black conservative gimmick early on, there is a reason that worked after all. Before recently, there weren't many like her out there, and blacks that were cons before were always frowned upon and looked at like they were traitors to the race or something. Blacks have to be Democrats, at least according to the white liberals who are running the party, like it's some kind of modern plantation system. Regardless, let's look at one more clip where Candace Owens clashes with an older black Democrat in a discussion they had immediately following her appearance in Congress. Check this out. On her interview with C-SPAN, she says that the word nationalism has been compromised or poisoned by elitists. Tell that to the people in Charlottesville. She then tried to put herself in the same category of Donald Trump uh, talking about the false narrative. But the part that was so insulting when she's promoting her employer and said that she went to Jerusalem and not a single Democrat went there. That was true, dude. There were no Democrats there. You can try and spin this and turn it on Candace as much as you want, but she was right and I think you know it. And what's this talk about Charlottesville anyway? That was a right-wing rally that went wrong because Antifa leftists invaded it and started attacking people. And it also happened over a year and a half ago. So if that's the best thing you have to point out, damn, you kind of proved the opposite of your point here. This white nationalist, white supremacist, or whatever nonsense you're pushing, it really must not be that bad or relevant if you have to turn back to August 2017 to find an example. If whites were really taken to the streets and threatening blacks and browns like you claim, we would see it more often, but instead, we don't see any of it at all. You're attacking her character. Attack. She's, men she's mentioning issues. I just said what issues. happened. You're, you're, you're attacking you know her she, she, character she, she, and what she Lord, said. You're not attacking that. that. And that. You're just, not a leader. Okay, in my opinion, she, in my she, opinion, hold on, let her she speak. Just, yeah. you know, don't talk no, no, over the let me speak. Let me speak. That was an ad hominem attack and it's childish and I'm not going to play these playground tactics with you. As you can see, this thing is getting pretty heated already, mostly because of that old black dude and him getting unhinged. As they were trying to say before, he was attacking Candace Owens personally, instead of addressing the issues or her arguments. And when that happens, it's usually because these people are too dumb to come up with real counterpoints. So they just attack the person making the points and call it a day. And that may work on your low IQ, senile liberal voters, but it's not going to work on legitimate, critically thinking Americans who love this country and want to save and make America great. From here, things just get worse, though. But I did want to show you a bit more of their arguing, which is at least good for a laugh or two. You cannot assume that Democrats want black people to fail. That's what you just said on national TV. Do I did, and I believe, believe that. that? And, I, and, and I will back that up with facts. Well, okay, I will back it up point, with Lord. facts. I will back it up with facts. you know that's not true. I want to play something that was said today. I will back it up with facts. Yeah, they clearly are freaking out. And this old black dude on the show, he's a perfect example of liberals freaking out over Candace Owens. In the end, you know how I know Candace Owens' redemption arc is complete? It's because the establishment Democrats, liberals, and social justice warriors hate her so much. They hate her so much they will lie and misrepresent her, like what Mr. Liu did in Congress. They will also silence her and shut her down for no reason, like what the Nadler guy did with his 
his gavel. And now, even her fellow blacks are starting to rage, like what we're seeing from this literal civil rights lawyer here in this clip from The Laura Ingram Show. And well, if Candace Owens can piss off the left this much, she must be doing something right, right wing. She's doing conservative work, and I love it. So yeah, I think it is official. Candace Owens is cool now, and her little trip to Congress this week was really what proved it. What do you guys think? Did Candace Owens kill it in this Congress hearing? Does Congressman Lou really think she's a Hitler sympathizer, or is he just making that up? And when will the liberals learn to make arguments and win politically, instead of just lying and trying to bash their opponents with ad hominems? Comment your thoughts on everything below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.